When I was younger, I wanted nothing to do with my CF. I didn't want to know that I had CF. I didn't want other people to know. Um, so I thought, oh, if I didn't do my treatments, didn't take my pills, I don't have it. Because I didn't do my treatments regularly, didn't take the pills I was supposed to be taking, it made me go into the hospital for a week and the antibiotics made me have an allergic reaction to them. And it just, it was, none of that is worth not doing treatments for me. If there's just, the treatments are bigger than anything else for me now. I've just, once I've started doing my treatments, I've become like proud of the way I've made myself so healthy in like such a short span of time and the treatments really helped me like grow this confidence with my CF by doing my treatments, by doing, taking my pills. I've become so much um, stronger with my CF and um, telling people about it and being like open about it. There's nothing harder for a parent than to not be able to feed their child. It's a, a huge feeling of failure when it seems like such a basic thing to feed your child and not being able to do it. And so to make the decision to get a feeding tube almost feels like you're admitting defeat. We couldn't do this, we couldn't make it work. And when it's such a basic thing, it can be a horrible feeling to not be able to get them to eat. But the feeding tube, it's a blessing because it allows you to give them that nourishment. And so for us, the feeding tube was the right decision to make for Colin. My hope for Colin is he's starting kindergarten next year. So it's really, we're really working towards the goal of him not needing to be tube fed while he's in school because there's obviously a, a whole host of issues around having to do tube feed at school and we want him to feel like he fits in with the rest of the kids as much as possible. He already has cystic fibrosis, so his life is already different, but we want to eliminate one other piece of what makes him different from other kids and let him eat with everybody else. I have to eat my food so I get big and strong. Well, look how strong I am. So when I was younger, I was at a different CF center than I am now. And, um, you know, I wasn't compliant. I, they would tell me, do this, do that, and I didn't really do it. Um, and that was kind of it. You know, every time i go into clinic, it was, are you doing this? No. Well, you should. Okay. You know, you go home. Um, and then when I ended up moving here, I started with a new clinic, and this is, started the same process. And this time, though, the doctors didn't just, well, you should, and let me go home and not do it. They were, well, why aren't you doing it? Well, because I don't want to. Well, do you understand why we ask you to do this? Do you understand the benefits of what we're asking of you? Um, the benefits from the treatments? No, not really. I don't know what any of this does. Okay, well, sit down, take a look at this cat skin. Take a look at, you know, this literature. Let's talk about this. And it made me kind of open my eyes and said, oh, there's a purpose to this. Like, I really do have a little bit of control here. You know, maybe I can take back some of my life and be a little healthier. And so that's what I did. I started being healthier, I started being more active and social, and I did end up meeting my husband now. Um, we met and we dated and he was with me through, when I still did have down periods, he was with me through that. Um, and he's been a huge support keeping me motivated. Uh, he's a huge reason why I wanna stay healthy is because I, I love our marriage and we just bought a house. We have two little puppies. Um, it's awesome. So I, I actually have all the things I never thought I would have. So it was a combination of, of motivation and support from someone who loved me and knowing what to do and why to do it and seeing the time doing it as a valuable time spent. So that really changed everything. And I wouldn't be this happy if I was sick all the time, you know? I mean, yeah, I take care of myself and it takes a lot to do that. It's a lot of work, but it's totally worth it.